Sports signed an exclusive contract with the NFL. That means no more ESPN NFL 2K series and no more competition for the Madden juggernaut. But it also means that for the other developers to stay in the football game market, they have to get creative. And oh boy, they have. Instead of popping out a cheap Mutant League football game, the folks behind Midway's Blitz series have taken a page from ESPN's playbook. As sports fans know, ESPN made an original dramatic series about a fictional football team called Playmakers. It was critically acclaimed, highly rated, and controversial for its depictions of drug abuse and gay quarterbacks. So controversial, in fact, that the NFL forced ESPN to cancel the show. Now, the writers and playmakers have joined up with the Blitz crew to make what could be one of the best football games of the year, NFL license or not. How much controversy will this one stir up? Find out in our review of Blitz, the league. The NFL is claimed to stand for the best in all of us. Strength of character, strength of competition, strength of teamwork. You know what I think the NFL stands for? Wusses. I need my football with a taste of sleeves. Low class, dirty down in the gutter, cheap looking sleeves. Oh no, that's too sleazy. More like this kind of sleazy. Blitz the League takes the football we've known for years and tears down the steel curtain of deception to reveal real football. Touchdown! Like juice taken. Rome breaking, lady loving football. Ooh, check her out. The storyline comes from the people behind the forgotten ESPN drama Playmakers, a show that looked at the unseemly parts of the NFL. You guys act like it's okay to lose. The NFL quickly used their power to have it canceled, because one thing the NFL stands for is purity. Campaign mode leaves that stuffiness behind. A team owner wants his city to foot the bill for his team. You won't see that in Madden, but he's got to get his team winning before that can happen. Unlike those legit football games out there, there's no draft here. Just take a few vets and a few rookies, and away you go. Sure, owners are greedy sons of bitches, but they do love the ladies. Oh, how they love the ladies. Speaking of illegal activity, betting is not only allowed in this game, it's encouraged. And if you have a nice bookie, he'll help you out in tiring out the opposition. If you get my drift. Oh, shit. I know you do. Right here. But there's more to football than ladies. Maybe. With straightforward football action and a computer opponent worse than the 49ers, touchdowns will be easier than, well, what's the easiest thing you can think of? And he's in. There's something called the clash move where you can slow down the action, allowing for even more easy gameplay. Cute at first, distracting at second. However, there is taunting. Bang and tag! And dirty hits. Look how the defense has it out for this Sessler guy. This Sessler guy will take it only for so long and then, well, and then it's, it's go time. I would be remiss if I didn't bring up the iffy training practices Juicing isn't only encouraged, it's expected. Although, with all the hard hits delivered in this game, what's wrong with the shot in the ass? I mean that in the most non-sexual way. I promise you. Yeah, sure, all this naughty stuff sounds fun, and it is, but the core of the game is still average football gameplay. Gameplay that doesn't do justice to the overall concept of Blitz. So, for the effort, we get Blitz the League three shots in the ass, out of five. Great story, mediocre gameplay. And I bet people will be all up in arms over the way Blitz picks its fictional league. But who cares? If you like arcade-style football and you don't mind playing without the NFL subtitles slapped on every one of EA's games, why not rent it? Yeah. You'll get to watch Roid Rage at its finest.